It's a formula here, and what it does is it finds the distance between two points. Now, if the points are just horizontal, you know, you can just count the number of spaces, or if they're vertical, you could just count the number of spaces, but when it's on a diagonal like this, the distance formula really comes in handy. When you look at these subscripts here, see the two and the one, that's referring to point number two, so see x2, y2, this is like the second point, and x1, y1, that's referring to point number one, okay? So what we're doing is we're subtracting the x-coordinates, okay, and squaring, and then we're subtracting the y-coordinates and squaring, and then uh, we add those together and we take the square root, and that'll give us the distance between the two points, okay? So let's do some examples. So let's say, for example, we have the points 4, 6, and 7, 10. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take x minus x, so seven minus four, the quantity squared, plus y minus y, 10 minus six, the quantity squared, add those together and take the square root, and that's gonna give us the distance. So this is three squared plus four squared, okay, which is nine plus 16. That's the square root of 25, which equals five. So the distance between these two points will be five. 